Hi, I'm uh, Rob Dorfmeyer. I'm GM publisher of Passage Maker Magazine, and I'm delighted to uh, be here in Greenport, New York, at our second annual Trawler Fest. I want to introduce a couple of my colleagues, Editor-in-Chief John Woldridge here to my right, and uh, Amy Pinter, who is a manager of our events business and responsible for not just Fest, Trawler Fest, but Passage Maker University and Trawler Port. Uh, Passage Maker, for those of you that uh, may be readers, and we hope that you all are, is um, a print publication um, that um, we offer both online at www.passagemaker.com and at your local newsstands. Uh, we're delighted to be here, and I'm just going to turn it over to John for a second, and then Amy, and we'll go from there. Thanks, Rob. Well, as you can see behind us, uh, we have pretty much filled up the docks here. Uh, there are cruising boats of every description. Uh, they have uh, come to see and be seen by our readers who uh, come also to these events for education and uh, also for uh, an opportunity to roam some boats and see the good ideas and maybe find the boat of their dreams. Amy? Trawler Fest is a very different type of boat show compared to the more larger national shows. We, uh, we are niche and focused on long-range cruising boats, so it's a boat show. and. Another real part, a fun part of our show is um, a rendezvous aspect. So we do lunches and dinners, and we bring in cruisers from all over. So it's a great social networking opportunity. And we also, um, as the backbone of Passage Maker Magazine, education is our one of our most important factors. We want people out there cruising safely and successfully. And we offer seminars and afternoon activities as part of our boat show so come down and join us here this weekend we have seminars get-togethers and lots of good products on display products on display include not only in-water boats that um, are open for the public with just a general admission ticket but also access to some of the free afternoon activities that Amy mentioned there's uh, three different ones that run consecutively um, on the half hours starting at 1 30 2 30 and 3 both this afternoon and tomorrow. Um, one comment about the um, co what we do from an educational standpoint is we really think that it's a combination of the uh, live aboard and cruising lifestyle combined with the ability to be able to uh, cast off lines and travel to near and far places that make this niche uh, particularly unique for the marine category. With that, I'll turn it over to John for last comment. And again, we hope to see you down here in uh, Greenport Harbor. Thanks, Rob. Uh one final question about that general admission ticket. What's the cost? Uh, $10 per person per day. And boat show hours are from 10 to 5 today and tomorrow and 10 to 4 on Sunday. Seminars start at 8.30 and run through 12 o'clock tomorrow and Sunday. If you're at all interested in spending considerable time aboard boats, just going up and down the coast or doing what we call the Great Loop, up through the Great Lakes, down Mississippi and Tennessee, Tennessee Tom Bigby River, uh, around Florida and back up this way. Uh, if you're in interested in crossing oceans, uh, you're going to find something here that you'll really, really like. Thanks a lot. Hello, I'm Vicki Cook from uh, Mystic, Connecticut, and uh, we uh, own a 36-foot uh, Sabre Lion, which is a powerboat, cruise all over um, uh, New England, which has some of the best uh, harbors to visit uh, anywhere in the country, I believe. So we love it. We uh, go weekends, and then we take a couple of weeks. Uh, the trip to New York was planned this year, but it got rained out. We're going to go later in the summer, and then we're going to Nantucket for another trip. Last year, we went to Maine. It's just a great places to go and a lot of fun. So uh, if you want to get out and have a good time, uh, buying a power boat or a sailboat, if that's what you prefer, is a, is a lot of fun. So. No, we just we have a great time. On vacation for a week. The boat's the thing to do, so it gets us out, gets us having fun, and has us meeting lots of nice people and cruising with lots of nice people. And uh, get out on the water and have a good time. I'm with Katie Krogan Yachts. Uh, we make a line of full displacement trawlers. 
uh, designed for people who want to cruise for extended periods. Um, our, our customers' trips usually end up being months or years instead of weekends and holidays. Um, the boats are all Ocean A rated, which means that they've got big fuel tanks, full displacement hulls. They're very efficient. They can handle blue water. So a lot of our customers end up going around the world on their boats or going to Europe, South Pacific, Australia. Um, and all of our boats are designed to where they can be cruised by a couple. So the majority of our customers are just a couple who's retired, semi-retired, and is out on their boat going as far as they want to go, as far as their skills can take. A lot of our customers don't even own their house anymore. Um, the, the average customer spends six or nine months a year living on their boat, but uh, fully a third of our owners don't have a house anymore, or they sold the house that they raised the kids in, and now they've got a little condo somewhere, and they spend six to nine months a year cruising on their boat. It's a movable vacation beach house. So we're in the pilot house of a Katie Krogan 48 trawler. Um, the instrumentation that we have on here is really not active now, just so that people can see what information you can get displayed. Again, this, this boat is owned by a couple. Um, they do have a couple of kids that come and visit, um, but they're working their way up and down the East Coast, and then later this year they'll head down to the Caribbean and Central America and probably be gone for quite some time. Um, the event that we're here at is the Trawler Fest event. It's, it's organized and put on by Passage Maker Magazine, and what it really is is an attempt to get the segment of the boating community that wants to do some long-term cruising, maybe even live aboard, get them their own show so that as opposed to going to Newport or Miami boat shows where they're wandering through hundreds and hundreds of boats and thousands of people, this is specific to trawlers or, or cruisers of all. As far as the boat itself goes, it's, it's equally important for these, these people that it's a good boat and a good home because they're gonna they're gonna be on board the boat for six months, a year, two years at a time. The boats have generators, the boats have hydraulic stabilizers which dampen the roll of the ocean. The boats have refrigerators, ice makers, microwaves, gas ovens. So if you're gonna be out on the boat for months and months and months at a time, camping for months at a time just doesn't work very well. Um, having all the comforts of home, it needs it needs to be your home is what's gonna make it pleasant for that length of time. Obviously, people come to the boat shows and they're looking at boats and they have boats in their heads and they want to hear about the fuel consumption and the range and they want to see the engine room and, and I always try and remind people that this is the second most important room in the boat and that's what we were talking about before. There's, there's a dishwasher, there's a trash compactor, there's enough storage to have real pots and pans, real glasses and plates. Again, camping is a really fun sport for a week or two at a time. If you start trying to do that for six or eight months, it can get old pretty quickly. So the boats that you'll see that are really the trawlers, the builders have all spent a lot more attention on the galley, the storage, the accommodations, just like the, the salon or living room that you can see here. Because the boat's got to be comfortable. first signs as well that you're on a longer range boat is that the builder starts making room for things like washers and dryers. You're out on the weekend, rinsing your bathing suit off in a, in a fresh water bucket is fine. About week 12 of that it starts getting old. Because they're going to break something a hundred miles off Papiete and, and they, need to, they need to know what to do. So engine room of the 48, again you can't stand up down here except that there's hatches in the ceiling that you can lift up and, and stand up and move around. This is where all of the accoutrements we were talking about come in. It'll amaze people who are used to going fast, but this 48 foot, 60,000 pound boat only has a 200 horsepower engine. So chances are your center console fishing boat has more horsepower, but she carries a thousand gallons of fuel and has a range of over 3,500 nautical miles. So you could tank this boat up here in Greenport, drive it across the ocean to the Azores, not necessarily stop for fuel there, and continue on to Gibraltar and into the Mediterranean without having to stop for fuel. Since it's a single engine, 
there's a secondary get home drive that runs off the generator. So if your engine were to die, you can fire up your generator and there's a hydraulic drive that drives the main shaft. So you've got redundant power on board. And the rest of this is batteries and electrical systems that run air conditioning, heat, everything that you can run at the dock, you can run while underway. celebrates the cruising lifestyle associated with trawlers, trawler yachts, uh, and uh, it's really just about living the dream, which is where often uh, publications, marketing arms of companies promote this, this uh, concept of trucking it all, living the dream, going all offshore, along the coast and here at this event you see a, a wide range of boats that are capable of doing a wide range of things from just strictly inland waterway use to uh, coastal to offshore uh, blue water passage making capabilities uh, which is the boat that I'm connected with this Nordhaven 43 is a full displacement trawler that can go anywhere you want to take her yeah, my name is Ben Sprague. I'm a yacht broker with Nordhaven Yachts Northeast in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. They provide the safest and most comfortable ride uh, by virtue of there being a full displacement boat. If you take the analogy of putting a cork in the water and making a huge wave, the cork will bob up and down. If you, if you add some weight to that cork so it sits a little bit lower in the water, Obviously, the effect of the waves will be lessened significantly uh, so that in any kind of a sea situation, a, a full displacement trawler is going to be a safest and safer and more comfortable uh, ride. And uh, there have just been a, uh, there are a number of design elements that we incorporate to, uh, to accommodate that. How you doing? Uh, my name is John Rogers. I'm here with uh, Wild Yacht Sales out of Essex, Connecticut. And uh, so far, the time has been excellent here. Very festive atmosphere. We've had a great time. And uh, the boat turnout has been excellent, and a lot of great boats here. And I ended up with a Nordic tug to pretty much have a boat that I could comfortably live on, enjoy, and still be able to travel good distances and be comfortable and I've loved every minute being on it. <laughs> the purr is nice and quiet. Hi there, I'm uh, Carl Skarner with Skarner Marine LLC uh, out of Milford, Connecticut. And we are the exclusive importer of the minor offshore line of boats made in Finland. Uh, this is, we're standing on the 31, off, the offshore 31 right here. Uh, it may look like a trawler, however, it is not really a slow boat. It's uh, got top speeds, top speeds of up to 40 knots. Um, it can really move and it's a great rough water boat and also as you can see one of the really nice features besides the pilot houses is the, the walk around recessed decks that go all in one level around the entire boat. Very nice and safe for kids. Uh, if you have to go up at night to fiddle with the anchor, don't have to worry about slipping and falling over. Trawler Fest so far has been a great time. This is my first time at a Trawler Fest event and also the first time here in Greenport. Uh, so far I've uh, been, been very, very impressed and even though the show has only been open for 40 minutes, we've had a couple of good, good visits already, so uh, it doesn't seem like there's the big masses, but uh, the quality seems to be very good. Uh, what do you think of Mitchell Park here? Do you think of this whole, I mean this is it's all fantastic. new, they just, yeah. they just did this. I, I really love the, the, this whole facility, the docks are beautiful, nice concrete docks, nice and stable. 
even the little fingers are nice and stable and the park is wonderful uh, really nicely maintained and the facilities the bathrooms and the showers up there are top-notch they're really nice and clean and I can highly recommend coming to visit this place I'm Gar Holm, uh, current district commander for District 3 of the United States Power Squadron. We cover the whole span of Long Island from Brooklyn to Montauk to Orient Point. And our uh, mission in life is to promote safe boating education to the general public and also to our members so that uh, we make the waterways safer. And uh, today we've got uh, some members here from Peconic Bay Power Squadron, which is nearby, and two members from Jones Beach Power Squadron. And our previous district commander, Peter Tenbring, from Jones Beach. United States Power Squadron is the foremost educational organization, foremost educational organization in, for safe boating in the country. We have 440 squadrons across the country in Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Guam. Uh, and we teach safe boating. Uh, we try to have fun doing it too, but uh, we complement the Coast Guard Auxiliary. We do not compete with them. And as we say, we have the same goals and uh, hopefully we're gonna succeed in those goals. We, we've got those signs all across Long Island. Power Squadron consists of people who have power boats, who have sailboats, who have large boats, small boats, and we even have people who have no boats at all. Uh, on July 31st, here in Greenport, we're gonna have our annual rendezvous. Uh, we have 70 some odd boats that are gonna be here. Uh, we are gonna have five, 600 people here. Uh, the village of Greenport was wonderful to us last year. I happened to be commander then and I was very happy for that. Gar is commander this year and we look like we're getting bigger and we're really very pleased with that. Uh, a wonderful place, to, a wonderful locale and uh, we really enjoy it here. So uh, we're looking forward to being here and uh, if you feel like it, come by and say hello to us. Uh, that's July 31st uh, through August 2nd. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, uh, please come over and say hello. We're not only about education, we're about fun, too. Paul <laughs> Moriarty, the uh, regional sales manager for Intercoastal Financial Group. I uh, handle all of New England and Long Island in uh, doing the boating financing. Uh, we have uh, plenty of money to lend, and the banks are loosening up some of their uh, underwriting policies. So we're looking for a good uh, summer in the boating industry. I'm Jack Dozier. I'm the publisher of Waterway Guide Publications, and we offer cruising guides uh, covering the entire eastern half of the U.S. and the Bahamas. Uh, these guides are updated every year. They each are about 500 pages of real detailed information about where to, where to cruise, what to do when you get there, uh, how to stay safe so you don't run aground, and we detail every marina and all their facilities. And these are available at most of the uh, area marine stores or online at waterwayguide.com. Uh, this guide has been around since 1947. They're updated every single year. Hi, I'm Fred Miner. I'm with Stid Systems. Um, we are manufacturers of uh, ergonomically marine seating uh, located in Greenport, New York. And uh, the original uh, design for the seat was for the uh, U.S. Coast Guard. The seats are, are currently on the 47 MLB project also on the RBM project and other uh, military applications around the world. For the recreational boater, we now have the same uh, features that are available for the military for the commercial boater. And this is one of our uh, deluxe chrome, polished chrome seats in ultra leather upholstery. And uh, part of the, some of the STID features, actually all of the STID features are in all of the STID products. We have a, a folding footrest, ergonomically designed cushion, for comfort. Um, the seat also has many operations. You can move the seat front to back, an eight inch 4F slide adjustment. You're gonna edit this out. 
We also have a, all of our seats have a telescoping pedestal. And then you can fold the footrest up if you would like to operate your boat bolster. Three sixty swivel and lock. Maybe forty five degrees. Folding on. And reclining back. Seats are also available in several finishes. We have powder coat finishes or deluxe chrome finishes, a variety of upholstery choices in uh, vinyl or ultra leather. Plus, you can uh, supply your own leather if you'd like. Customers do that all the time. We have a lot of seats on very exclusive high-end yachts, super yachts. Uh, uh, we're very popular in the trawler families, which you can see out on the docks here today. Once again, we are manufacture these right in Greenport, Long Island, New York. Our factory is right around the corner from the Troller Fest here today. Hi, I'm Bill Wasson from Stazo Marine Equipment. We're located in Thomaston, Maine. Uh, we are a Dutch company and we make cork decking material. It's, uh, as you can see in the back here, uh, it's something that's very productive for boats. It's a very cool product. Uh, in that it never gets hot, like a lot of uh, other deckings that cause you to, uh, to burn your feet when you're out. It's, uh, it's granulated cork. It's uh, bound together with a urethane uh, mixture, poured into molds, and then uh, put under high pressure to cure. And it's a very high density, uh, resilient material. Still got a little bit of cushion for your feet, but uh, very durable. We also make uh, steering wheels. You can see a few of them over here. These are all made in Holland, and uh, we import them to the country and now sell them pretty much all over the uh, North and South America. We're here at Trawler Fest, uh, just another one of our boat shows that we do. Hello, I'm Dave Trosel with Sterling Acceptance Corporation. We're a nationwide yacht financing company based out of Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, we're a long-term participant of Trawler Fest from up here to San Diego, to Florida, and of course the one in Solomons, Maryland. It's a great venue, uh, a lot of interesting uh, seminars available, a good mix of boats, and very good quality people looking to learn more about the cruising lifestyle. So we're a real supporter of it. Passage Maker Magazine, they do a wonderful job from an educational standpoint. So we're looking for a good turnout. Hello, my name's uh, Anthony Minio, and uh, I represent Northeast Marine Sanitation. Um, we're here at Troller Fest 2009, and we're here representing both uh, general ecology water purification systems, as well as uh, our vacuum flush and master flush toilets. Um, happy to be here. Hopefully, all uh, <clears throat> are welcome to come down and enjoy, learn about our systems. We only use a pint of water per flush, and we protect our waters by. Um, utilizing holding tanks, and we offer clean water, 100% biologically pure water from our uh, purification systems. Hello, I'm Greg Carman with HelmChair.com. We're a seating manufacturer out of uh, Fort Worth, Texas. We build all different kinds of helm chairs for big boats, little boats, in-between boats. We've been an OEM manufacturer for years, um, building the chairs for the major builders, and now we're starting to sell to the public. And uh, we've got a full line, and you can catch, see all of our chairs online at www.helmchairs.com and give you all the information and things you need to know about seating. This is a John Deere engine that is used in a lot of the trawlers that are here at Trawler Fest. It's a heavy duty engine, uh, very popular, uh, standard in a number of the trawler manufacturers, um, designed to uh, go for long term cruising. Um, very fuel efficient and durable, dependable, and all that good stuff. This is 200 horsepower. Uh, it's a 6068 TFM 75 is the model. And uh, you'll see a few boats out here that uh, have it sitting there. So the Katie Krogan's out there uh, all use this as the standard power. Basically, uh, 
run them 24 hours a day. They're used in push boats and uh, uh, river boats and go for the long term. My name's Dave. I am the uh, current mayor of the village of Greenport. Green, Greenport, going way back, was uh, was a whaling port. Um, larger ships provisioned out of here because it was a safe harbor uh, with a deep port. Um, the other the other asset to the village in the mid 1800s was the railroad coming in. So you had now you had uh, people able to get here by water and farmers and fishermen able to get product to the city by rail. Um, and people were able to come here by rail. Um, as, as time progressed, uh, far, obviously farming has, has continued all the way through. Whaling died out, uh, but the fishing industry stayed. Uh, there was a great resurgence in shipbuilding in the area, other than just uh, packing out ships here. Now all of a sudden there was shipbuilding and World War II minesweepers were built Boats here. Boats have always come in here, and it's generally been you know, set up for like you know, Claudio's has some docks, and going back, the, the Mitchells had a dock. So you came in, you docked, you went to their restaurant, and uh, or one of the other boat yards in the area, and you came into town. This is ideal in that you've got 60-some slip municipal marina right in the middle of downtown. So you either come in for the day, or you come in and stay. You can stay on your boat and walk to everything. You can still provision here. You, know, you can still pack out of Greenport if you want to. And it, it ha it's becoming more of a destination, I think, for the cruising community as people discover it. I mean, places like Sag Harbor have been there and, and set up with a municipal marina for a lot longer than we have. Um, but at this point, because of overflow, and quite honestly, our prices are slightly lower. So, um, and we, we still do. We have a much easier port to get in and out of. All it really has meant is getting the word out there that we're here, and it seemed the word seems to be spreading fairly quickly, which is nice. Um, it, we want to continue that, obviously, because we, we love we love the fact that, that people are coming here. Um, we're getting slightly bigger boats. Um, we get tall ships now and again. Basically, people people are rediscovering Greenport. Is what it comes down to. Some of the more general interest magazines, they're struggling. I mean, they, they cover so many different kinds of boats and, and sports that you can do on the water. Um, we basically sort of shook, shook all that off and looked at the cruising lifestyle and said, that's where we want to stay. And whether you do it in a, a, a full displacement, a really, really efficient uh, trawler, or you do it in a semi-displacement, faster uh, uh, vessel, it's going to be it's going to give you the same lifestyle. You go to places, you visit, you see things. Uh, you can you can go as far as you really dream on cruising boats of these kinds. We hope to see you down here in uh, Greenport Harbor. Thanks, Rob. Uh, one final question about that general admission ticket. What's the cost? Uh, Ten dollars per person per day, and boat show hours are from ten to five today and tomorrow in 10 to 4 on Sunday. Seminars start at 8.30 and run through 12 o'clock tomorrow and Sunday. If you're at all interested in spending considerable time aboard boats, just going up and down the coast or doing what we call the Great Loop, up through the Great Lakes down Mississippi and Tennessee, Tennessee Tom Bigby River, uh, around Florida and back up this way, uh, if you're in interested in crossing oceans, uh, you're going to find something here that you'll really, really like. Thanks a lot.